So the rumor mill has been cranking out a few more rumors, and as we get closer to Christmas, the holidays, and all this stuff, these rumors actually look a lot more possible, especially when we start seeing benchmarks and a couple other things really concreting the evidence that we will definitely be seeing, well, can't say definitely because they are rumors now, but very, very likely we'll be seeing an Radeon RX 590. And so today I'm going to talk about A, the performance of this because we've actually got benchmarks, which I would really just say that's, that's pretty strong evidence. We've got kind of specs, uh, what we think are going to be seeing them, think. Um, we really kind of, there's a lot of rumors with the same thing. And then we're going to be talking about just kind of some background information and some things to keep in mind as well when we're going forward. So, let's get into this video, shall we? So, you're familiar, I'm sure, if you're watching this video, with all the RX Radeon series. These are GPUs that have been stuck at 14 nanometers running the Polaris architecture from uh, AMD. And these GPUs have been going up. Uh, we kind of we went from the Polaris um, 500 series. We went to the Vega series, and now we're kind of coming back to put another card out. And this is going to be running a Polaris refresh at 12 nanometers. And this is basically going to be a GPU sporting 8 gigabytes of GDDR5, and it's basically going to be equivalent to a 1060. And you're going well. Hmm, the 580 8 gigabytes of video memory. Is also relatively close. Um, I'd say in between a six or a 1060 three gigabyte and a 1060 six gigabyte, right? Actually, in the dead middle. And so people are like, "Well, hmm." And then Nvidia also just released a 1060 with GDDR5X, which means it's even faster memory. Which means you get something that's kind of comparing from uh, Nvidia to, to AMD's card that they're producing out. So if you're in for a mid-range buying option, or you're interested in a mid-range graphics card. You've got yourself a lot of options, which means you get a good deal on any of it, regardless. So this new graphics card, as I said, it's got a better, it's got a refresh of the Polaris architecture. It's got a smaller manufacturing process. It gets about the same as a 1060, which you're going well. If AMD or Nvidia is just released something even better, then you know what's the value in this card? Well, obviously, if you're familiar with the way that the market has gone out right now. Um, it's probably going to come in right around the same price, which it probably, since we know NVIDIA now with their arc with their lineup of the new Ryzen processors, they're actually a lot cheaper than what Intel is putting out for the same price. I wouldn't be surprised to, for AMD to kind of come up with a similar, you know, grounding or similar idea the price much lower than the competition for that, you know, same card. But I definitely think that it could be pulled off. I definitely think that we could get a lot, um more options in the, just the different cards because when you release a new card you'll get a bunch of different options in that mid-range area and this also kind of reinfor re reinforces my hypothesis that ray tracing especially since it's only been available for the really really high-end budgets i think that this is kind of reinforcing that amd is really trying to go for the mid-range budget or what should be average and they're trying to work on focusing that actually have something that's in a market that a lot of people are interested in buying in rather than something that's almost unachievable for most people for $700 and above, which is equivalent to what I got this 1080 Ti back uh, last June. So actually, no, two Junes ago. Wow, it's been a while. But as you can see, it's uh, they AMD's kind of done a good job putting it in the good market. Well, NVIDIA kind of realized what was going on and they threw out another card, uh, or threw out kind of with a, a modification since they had a little bit of GDRX5 or GDRX5. So they, it looks like they had a little bit of extra memory, so like, we'll, we'll just up it a little bit by increasing the memory. Now the other thing is, AMD can do a lot with this. If they decide to just put the GDDR5, it'll be okay performance on par with 1060, 60GB. If they decide to put some memory in there that's GDDR5X, I'm pretty sure we'll get the same performance as the new special variant, fourth variant of the 1060, 60GB, the GDDR6X. And if they decide to, if they decide to put to memory that's GDDR6, that will be an interesting thing. I'm really interested to see what of those three options they do, and I think we've already kind of figured out it's going to be the first one. But with a smaller refresh, uh, with a smaller manufacturing process, I therefore think we'll get better efficiency, better power consumption, better um, clock speeds. So I think there's a lot more that can be offered there as well. So Basically, the takeaway from this is if you're out there buying for a graphics card, you're saying, hmm, is this something I should be worried about? Is this something I should be paying attention to? Yes, it's something that's A, in your reach. B, will actually, as I said, be a pretty decent card. And some of the models that are coming out a lot, some of the, you know, leaks, actually have it as a three, um, uh, three, what is it? Three slot graphics card. Sorry, it took me a second. 
three slot graphics card, which means that it's probably also going to be a pretty hot one because they have to put a substantial cooler on there or a pretty loud one. So just know that, you know, while the 1060 60 byte with the extra memory with the ggr 5 x is going to probably be about the two slot, um, from what we've seen online, it's going to be three slots. That's just from the cards that we've seen so far, and of course the manufacturers will make something that's a better cooler, and I'm not denying that, but we don't ever see that from the factory models or from the first originals from the ggr 5 x Actually, we haven't seen anything from that model or the fourth variant of the 1066 gb So I just say right now, you might want to be prepared that you might need a little bit extra power on that sucker. Um, I'm probably going to say it's going to be about the same price as for power consumption. I have a feeling it will be slightly more because they've overcollected a little bit more. Um, and I have a feeling that you may get more value out of the 1060 uh, 6GB GDR5X, which is a lot of talking about very long names. But I think you may get a little bit more out of power uh, efficiency, but I think you'll get some maybe even better performance or a cheaper price on the um, RX 590. So, I thank you all for watching. I hope I was able to help somebody explain some things. Um, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I like doing these kind of leaks videos that are kind of really news videos, because I'm pretty sure that this is going to come out. Pretty sure. And, uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. You guys uh, mean a lot for me. And, um, show my channel for other cool tech-related news videos, builds, leaks, etc. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.